بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر موونگ آن ٹو آر ماڈیول نمبر سیونٹی فور اینڈ وٹ وی سو ان دا پریویس ماڈیولس واز دیٹ وی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ دی انٹرنیشنل ڈیولپمنٹس وچ ٹوک پلیس ان دا یو ایس اے یو ایس اے اینڈ آلسو دی انٹرنیشنل ڈیولپمنٹس وچ ٹوک پلیس ان دا یو کے اینڈ ان بوتھ کیسز وٹ وی سی از دیٹ ون دے واز دا واٹر گیٹ اسکینڈل اینڈ ٹو ان دا یو کے وی سی دیٹ دے واز دا بی سی سی آئی اسکینڈل وچ از فالوڈ بائی دا بیرنگس بینک اسکینڈل اینڈ دی اسکینڈلس ہیڈ امینس ریپرکشنس آن دی کارپوریٹ فریم ورکس corporate audits and corporate financials of large corporations around the world. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be looking at something which is very important because uh, what we see is that different committees were formed and as a result of those committees, what we see is that uh, different reports were generated for implementation. Now, one of the most famous reports in corporate governance is called the Cadbury Report. And this Cadbury Committee report uh, basically chalked out the way forward uh, in a better way for all corporate governance practitioners and all corporations. Now, what we see is, is that the committee, the Cadbury committee was set up in May 1991 by the Financial Reporting Council, the Stock Exchange and the Accountancy Profession. So, it was a tripartite arrangement which basically emerged. The committee was chaired by Sir Adrian Cadbury and decided to review those aspects of corporate governance relating to financial reporting and accountability. So, what we see is that based upon this particular report, financial reporting and accountability became a mainstay in any corporate uh, entity. So that was extremely important. The final report, uh, which uh, basically is coined as the financial aspects of corporate governance, is usually known as the Cadbury report, which was published in December 1992. So uh, this is a very comprehensive report. This is a very practical report. It has some amazing suggestions. And uh, it is high time that Pakistan starts working on these reports and step by step can move towards a progressive and empathetic, a compassionate nation for all. That is extremely important in whatever we do. Now, what we see the objectives of the Cabinet Committee was to uplift the low level of confidence both in financial reporting and the ability of auditors to provide safeguards. And secondly, to review the structure, the rights and the role of the board of directors, the shareholders and the auditors by making them more effective. So when we're talking about effectiveness, then we basically are talking about technical astuteness and how technically everyone could be made aware of the possibilities which uh, basically were embedded in it and how they would ensure that appropriate safeguards could also uh, be implemented across the board and across all the countries to address various aspects of accounting profession to raise the standard of corporate governance. So these were the, again two major uh, objectives. One, to address various aspects of accounting profession and two, to raise the standard of corporate governance. We see that the committee's sponsor were concerned at the perceived low level of confidence both in the financial reporting and the ability of auditors. The underlying factors were seen as the slackness of accounting standards, the absence of a work, clear framework for ensuring that directors kept under review the controls in their own business. And what we see is, is that there was this elimination of, of having uh, alternate books uh, and uh, then having alternate, alternate books and more focus was on how to ensure that the rules and regulations were followed in totality and therefore there would be no uh, apprehension or there would be no slackness. The basic approach of the committee was that compliance with a voluntary co code coupled with disclosure will be more efficient than a statutory code of uh, corporate governance. So again, it should not be government driven, but it should be private sector driven. It could be social sector driven. So they would understand that it has become extremely vital, critical and important that uh, they uh, basically ensure that this voluntary code coupled with couple uh, with uh, disclosure is incorporated into the whole corporate structure of any organization from a very basic and fundamental level. Uh, now we see that the committee looked into three broad, broad aspects of corporate governance such as number one, the structure, role and the responsibilities of the board of directors. The role of auditors and the responsibility of accounting profession, the rights and responsibilities of shareholders in a company as investors. So we see that these are extremely critical points and they uh, tend to ensure uh, that the rights of the minority shareholder uh, are fundamentally protected. We also see the committee focus on the control and the reporting function of the board and the role of auditors related to financial reporting and accounting. The committee's recommendations are a code of best practices designed to achieve a high standard of corporate behavior. So what we see is, is that this booklet not only tends to bring about 
uh, a sea change within the organization, but also in the, in the lives of the people associated to it, they also change because again, it is very pragmatic, it is very implementable, it is all common sense and one tends to reinforce one's know-how and beliefs based upon uh, all of that. Uh, we, we also see that all the proposals of the committee uh, were aimed to strengthen the unitary board system and enhance its efficiency and effectiveness. So, there was also an element of centralization to ensure that uh, all provinces across the board understand what this law is about, how it can be practiced, what are the punishments which are related to it and how can they ensure that things are done in a better way uh, rather than uh, disperse, uh, disperse actions taking place from office to office. So, the whole organization should get involved uh, into the certification and to ensure that later on it can contribute uh, in a far better way to the organization and to community at large. Thank you so much.